Hello everyone, I'm Mihoko. I'll show you one Japanese folktale. Its title is The Crab and Monkey. I like to put my ideas on the paper to move the characters. Please guess how I move. After storytelling, I'll show you my ideas. I hope you like this story. Thank you for watching. Once upon a time, there are little lady crab by the side of a river. One day, she found rice ball. Lucky me! It's my lunch! The crab was excited about rice ball. Just then, a monkey appeared. He saw the crab and her rice ball. She has a rice ball. I want to eat it. But, I know she will not give it to me. Well, I have a good idea. The monkey picked up something from the ground and approached the crab. Hey, do you want to see my treasure? It's much better than your rice bowl. Much better than my rice bowl? What's it? Look. The monkey showed the crab a tiny persimmon seal very proudly. What? Are you kidding? It's just persimmon seed. You don't know. A rice will be gone once you eat up, you see. But if you plant this seed in the yard, it will soon grow and you can eat lots of persimmons in a few years. You must think of the future. Now you know why this is my treasure. The crab was so naive that she believed the monkey. Yes, it sounds much better than my rice ball. That was a word the monkey was waiting for. Well, you are my friend. If you want, I don't mind exchange this persimmon seed for a rice ball. Oh yes, please. You are very kind to say so. Then, the crab had persimmon seed, and the monkey had rice ball. What a cunning monkey he was. The monkey ate up rice ball quickly, and the crab carefully took the persimmon seed home, as if it was her treasure. As soon as the crab got home, she plants a persimmon seed in the yard. I can't wait for years until you grow. While pouring water on the ground, the crab chanted, Come out, come out, persimmon seed. If you don't, I'll cut you off. Hayo me o dase kaki no tane, dasan to hasami de chongilzo. Afraid of being cut off, the persimmon seed came out quickly. Next, the crab chanted, Grow up, grow up, persimmon tree. If you don't, I'll cut you off. Hayo ki ni nare kaki no me yo, naran to hasami de chongil zo. Again, fearful of being cut off, the small persimmon began to grow quickly and became a big tree at once. Then, the crab chanted, Barefoot, barefoot, persimmon tree, if we don't, I'll cut you off. Hayo mi ga nare kaki no ki yo, naran to hasami de chongil zo. Soon, the tree had lots of persimmons on all of its branches. Persimmons looked very delicious. I love to taste one. The crab tried to climb the tree. However, no matter how many times she tried, she couldn't even hold the tree. 
The monkey happened to come by and noticed the persimmon seed had become a big tree in such a short time. Wow, amazing! Do you want to taste one? I'll get you some. Seeing that, the monkey climbed the tree. However, when he reached the top of the tree, he began to pluck good persimmons one after another and eat them. Under the tree, the poor crab was waiting for the monkey to throw persimmons. The crab saw the monkey eating up most of good persimmons. Hey, you are eating there. Those persimmons not yours. Come on, give them to me. Here is that, the monkey said. I found the seed of this persimmon tree, so this is my tree. If you want, I'll give you this one. Saying that, the monkey picked out the guri and the young persimmon, which was still very hard, and threw it to the crab with all his might. The hard persimmon hit the crab directly, and she was badly injured. The wicked monkey climbed down the tree in a hurry and disappeared without taking care of the injured crab. The crab had a young son. He found his mother badly injured on the persimmon tree. Mommy, what's up? Are you all right? The young crab was shocked and got angry with the monkey for what he had done to his mother. The young crab cried so loudly that his three friends, the bee, the chestnut, and the motor came and asked a reason. Hearing the story that the mother crab had a terrible pain because of the wicked monkey, they also got angry in the monkey. We have to teach a lesson to the monkey, says the mortal. Then they wondered what they could do to punish the monkey. Finally, they had an idea. After taking the mother crab to bed, they went to the monkey's house to carry out their plan. When they arrived at the monkey's house, the monkey was not there. Now, everybody, get to your position, ordered the motor. Then, the young crab, the bee, the chestnut, and the motor hid themselves inside the house. Can you guess where they are hiding? In a short time, the monkey came back home. It was a freezing day as the monkey trembled with cold. How cold! I'll make a fire. The monkey approached the charcoal fireplace and made a fire. Something burst out and hit the monkey on the face. Pan hot! The monkey jumped up. It was a chestnut who had been hiding in the ashes. The monkey ran to the water pot to cool his bum. When he put his hand in the water, the young crab pinched him. Ouch! screamed the monkey. The next moment, the bee, who had been hiding behind the water pot, flew out and stung the monkey on the head. The monkey had a terrible pain. He felt it was dangerous inside the house. He tried to escape from the house. Finally, the mortal, who had been sitting at the entrance, fell down on the monkey. Now you see what you have done to the crab. I know, I know, I did a terrible thing to the crab. I'll never do such a thing ever again. I'll go and apologize to the crab right away. 
The monkey learned the lesson that doing a bad thing would bring a great pain. Since then, the monkey changed. He became nice and made good friends with the crab. The end. When the monkey threw a persimmon, it hit the crab. I use the string and magnet between two persimmons. I'll show you the back side. It's messy. Here's a magnet. I move. interesting to use ideas so think about your ideas thank you for watching see you soon sayonara goodbye